Perfluor octanoic acid, or PFOA, also known as C8, is an industrial chemical used in nonstick cookware and waterproof clothing. It is called C8 because it is a long chain carbon molecule containing eight carbon atoms. It has been used in it has been used to manufacture water and grease resistant products since the 1940s. Because most uses of PFOA involve high temperature application, it is generally not present in high amounts in finished products. The mass of the chemical is burned away during manufacturing and historically has been exhausted into the air. Airborne PFOA would then mix with ambient water vapors and fall back to the ground as contaminated rain. This is how it gets into your drinking water. So who's affected by PFOA? All of us, actually. Studies have shown low levels of PFOA in the bloodstreams of close to 98% of the general population. They have found it in the bloodstreams of fish and animals the world over. Since the chemical can survive almost indefinitely in nature, it has since become widespread. Residents of Merrimack and Litchfield know, following testing by the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services, that some of their private wells in their communities have tested for high levels of PFOA, levels higher than is recommended by the Environmental Protection Agency for short-term exposure. Once it was well known that PFOA was linked to possibly detrimental health effects, its manufacturers and users, 3M, DuPont, St. Gobain Performix Plastics, to name a few, started to voluntarily phase out its production and application. So while no more should be added to the environment in general, what is there will probably be there for a very long time. Because of this, the Department of Environmental Services will continue testing wells within one mile of the St. Gobain Performance Plastics Facility and will release the results as they receive them. Also, the EPA is scheduled to release a lifetime health advisory limit for PFOA this spring which will give the state a basis upon which to determine who to issue bottled water to. There is no known method for removing the chemical from bloodstreams or water sources, but knowing which water to avoid will help concerned citizens make better decisions.